I want to give you a quick demo of the simple application that we're going to be building in this course. And as you can see, it's a very simple note taking application where you can create a note, edit a note, delete a note, and pretty much do all the CRUD operation. Now you have to understand that this is only the front end application. So this is the final result of the front end Angular application that we're going to be building. There's an entire back end application that this front end application is sending HTTP requests to that we're not going to demo in this case. But you have to understand that there's a ton of information, a ton of knowledge and skills that you're going to learn when you take this course. So I'm going to refresh the application. So when you first come into the application, you have this nice UI element. There's a spinner loading. And then once you get all the notes, you get a notification that tells you how many notes there are in the database that have been loaded in the UI. By default, you're looking at all the notes. And of course, you can go ahead and sort the note. And you can see that the notes are sorted by high priority. And you know that by looking at the color, as you can see, the notes, they are color coded. So if I go back to all, you can see that there is a color for each priority for these notes. So again, if I go to high, you can see they're sorted. Go to medium, you can see everything is sorted again. And go to low, we see that one node of priority low. So that's the sorting. And this is actually done using RxJS in the front end. We're not actually sending a request to the back end. We're just manipulating the data in the front end using a reactive approach with RxJS. So I'm going to go ahead and add a note. And let's say visit Philadelphia. And let's make this priority medium. So I'm going to drop this drop down list and select medium and then say visit the beautiful city. And once I go ahead and save the note, you can see the UI and everything is loaded and then the note is added. And the note is going to be on top, of course, because it's the most recent note. So let's say I want to edit this note at this point. So I can click on this edit icon and you can see the form is pre-populated with the note information. And let's say I change this to low because I've already been to the city and save. And you can see the UI again, saving the note and then the note is updated. And I can go ahead and delete a note. So if I go and click on this delete uh, trash can here, you can see that the node is deleted and also I get a notification every time there is an action. It's not a very complex application, but it has all the components that you need to understand to become a full stack developer all the way from the back end where we're going to be using the MySQL database to using Spring Boot where we're going to add our application logic and then to the front end where we're going to be using Angular to communicate with that back end API that we're going to be building. And again, one main focus of this course is to use the reactive approach in Angular with RxJS and that's how we're building this UI as you can see here. So if I right click and inspect this i have some console that i can show you you can see that every time we do something in the application sometimes we make a request for instance if i edit a note uh, let's say i change this to high and then save it and you can see that the color is different now because it's a high priority note and you can see the response that we got from the backend server with that note that we just updated so i hope you're excited and i will see you guys in the course